hello everyone and very welcome to the channel this model on to vision language in 2 billion and 7 billion has really rattled the industry at the moment this model was released in two variants just few days ago and already it has topped various benchmarks i already have covered both of these two models onto vl 2 billion and 7 billion to install locally and then i have shown it to use it on various benchmarks including visual question answering ocr and lot of others and we have seen that this model's performance is really really good in this video i'm not going to go into much of the architectural design as i already have covered in those two videos what i'm going to do in this video is to show you how you can get this installed on comfy ui by using comfy ui manager and custom nodes I will also be installing Comfy UI from scratch, then we will install Comfy UI Manager and then we will see how we can use this Unto Vision Language model with Comfy UI as a custom node. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it Comfy. Let's wait for it to get installed and activated. The first step which I'm going to do is to install Comfy UI. Second step will be to install Comfy UI Manager and then we will get the model. And then we'll see how it works on Comfy UI. So the environment is created. Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites including Torch, Transformers, Accelerate. Let's wait for it. And prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's git clone the repo of Comfy UI and then CD into it. Shouldn't take too long. That's already done. And now let's install all the requirements from this repo. I'm just going to use the pip command with Torch audio and stuff. Let's wait for it. And that is already done. Let me clear the screen. Let's check the contents of this directory. You will see there is a lot of stuff, but you should have something called as custom underscore nodes. So let's go to custom underscore nodes directory. And here you need to git clone the repo of Comfy UI manager. So Comfy UI is installed. Next, we are installing Comfy UI Manager and the installation is simply going to this custom node directory within Comfy UI and then git cloning the Comfy UI Manager. So let me press enter here and that should be done fairly quickly. If I do ls ltr, you will see that now we have Comfy UI Manager here. So once that's done, let's go back one directory to the root of this. Let's clear the screen. And now you can start Comfy UI, which will have already the extension of Comfy UI Manager. And this Comfy UI Manager is primarily um, an extension designed to enhance the usability of Comfy UI. It offers management functions to install, remove, disable, and enable various custom nodes of Comfy UI. And this extension also provides a hub feature and convenience function to access a wide range of information within the Comfy UI. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, let me run this. So you see that it is installing the Comfy UI Manager and it is going to start it. Let's wait. And now the server is started at port 8188 on our local system. So let me access it there in the browser. And once you access it in the browser, you will see that this is a Comfy UI at the moment in front of you. On the very right hand side, you can see that this is the manager here. If you click on it, it is going to open the manager's uh, Comfy UI's manager here. And there are a lot of stuff here which you can check out. I also will be doing another video totally on manager because there are a lot of things which you can check. So, but I'm not going to go it in this one where um, you can download models, you can give it badge, some naming and all that stuff workflows. So, but let's not go there at the moment. Now, in order to use the 
into VL model or vision language model but these are the custom nodes so you have to click on custom nodes manager here and in the search box simply type and two and you will see that we have both 7 billion and 2 billion a model there and then in order to use it all you need to do is to just click on install here you can install both of them if you like but i'm just going to go with this one install here so let me click there let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time of course and you can see that it has been installed but it requires me to restart it now in order to restart it you can simply first click restart here and then click OK. It is reconnecting with it. It is reconnected and then uh, sometimes you would have to uh, refresh the browser but sometimes it works as is. I'm not sure why but let's check it out. But you can see that it has already detected it which is quite good. So in this case it has uh, been successful. I think it varies from version to version but in this one it seems all good. So okay so our unto model is all good now you can check for update you can check for missing but i think we are all good here and if you just scroll to right you will see some other stuff which is not really required for this so let's click on close here now once you are in your custom node manager and you already have installed the unto next thing you need to do is to click on install missing custom nodes once you click on it you will see there is nothing here that is fine just close it close from here and then click on load once you click on load and you will see that in custom nodes folder you have this comfy ui unto vl instruct model already there because we installed the custom node click on it click on examples and you will see there are a lot of examples let's start with chat with single image workflow just click on this json file and it is going to load it here and then you will see this error so don't worry about it just drag it here just to make sure that everything fits then click on manager again and from here click on install missing custom nodes and then you will see that this is the one we need to install then click on install let's wait for it and then it is going to ask you to restart now if you try to restart from here it won't have do anything so just close everything go back to your terminal and then just press ctrl x or ctrl c few times let's clear the screen and run this again to restart our comfy ui it is now running just wait for it to give us the url there you go so we have 8188 let's go to back to comfy ui reload the browser and now you see that error is gone and you have your text here now this is uh, the model you can see that the checkpoint is already there with the sorry image is already there now you can just load any file of your choice for example i'll just click here i'll go to my home and then i'll just maybe go to my images where are my images these are my images i'm just going to select this photo of cathedral and this is my cathedral and then you can simply run your uh, workflow by clicking on q prompt and of course the first time you will run it it is going to download the model and the first time it is going to take some time so let's wait for it and if you want to see the progress of it you can just simply click on your terminal and you will see that the files are being downloaded so let's wait hopefully it will fit in onto my memory i have 48 gb of vram so let's wait all we have done is we have just asked us to describe the image in detail and then this is the image so let's wait for it to come back and there you go so the prompt the response is here let me make it a bit bigger hopefully i can make it there you go so it says the image depicts a grand cathedral with a distinctive architectural style characterized by its tall cylinder spires and all that stuff the sky above cathedral is partly cloudy with patches of blue visible through the clouds how good is that amazing stuff so and then you can load other files if you like maybe i'll just go with another one let's check the ocr one and you can then just make it smaller i'm just using my mouse wheel to make it smaller you can just ask it here what is the text in the 
image and then click on Q prompt here. Let's wait for it. And the response has come back. Let me make it a bit bigger. There you go. So it says the text in the image is in multiple languages, including English, German, French, Spanish, and Italian. The text reads the quick brown brown fox jumps over and then it has given us given us a really really good response here amazing stuff and we already have seen the quality of the model so i'm not going to test do more tests here but you can see that it is quite easy to get it working in comfy ui you just have to be aware of these uh, missing nodes and all that stuff so the first step we installed comfy ui then we installed comfy ui manager which is just an extension and then we loaded this workflow and then we also had to install a missing custom node and that's about it. So this is how you can run this really cool bottle, the Gwen or Un as it is spoken in Chinese VL2 billion and 7 billion in your local system by using Comfy UI. Let me know what do you think. If you are struggling and having any issues, please paste them in the comments. Happy to help out. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.